Okay, so uh, hello everyone, my name is Rhett and uh, this is the house I grew up in, it's located in Weatherford, Texas. And um, so here's the house. This was a two car garage where that, bur or a two car garage, a one car garage <laughs> that I helped build. Um, you see the burn barrel right there. It's, uh, I tore it down last week and um, burning it and moving it and I've created a big pile of uh, lumber it's not on it's not here but it's nearby we may go see it anyway this is the house I grew up in and um, you can see that it's in total disrepair tiny tiny little a-frame I guess house this is the front door and you walk in look to your left or your right there's a washer and dryer and this is where we had all of our clothes as kids right here this is another place you can see like the exposed air duct that was like that actually when I was a kid so you can see that the roof and stuff is falling down obviously there's like trash and if you get a better look there's like rat feces everywhere um, there's, I guess, a dresser with books. And uh, you walk in. This was our bathroom. You can kind of get a look. Very small, four people living here. And we had 21 dogs, and my parents are hoarders. So you can see there's just tons and tons of stuff. I'm a little anxious to go in some of these areas, as you might can tell. Anyway, here's the walkway. Little walkway right here. And the dresser. This was, here's a staircase that leads downstairs. I'm not going to take the stairs. Obviously, it's blocked. And I think it's pretty dangerous to travel on them. So I'll walk around the side of the house to shell the downstairs. This is my parents' bedroom. You can see there's four posts uh, of the bed that's still there. Just This was a dresser area. And then right here was our room, my brother and I's room. We never stayed in there because it's probably about 100 feet, 100 square feet. And it's, we live in Texas, so it's way too hot to stay in there. And it's tiny. Okay, so I'm going to walk y'all around the side of the house. So y'all can kind of get a look at where I grew up at. So here's a walkway that goes downstairs. Um, I'm not going to take these stairs. I'm scared they're going to fall in. So there's a little rock path or whatever you want to call it right here I'm going to take. Okay, sorry if the camera's moving. I'm obviously jumping from rock to rock. So here if we get downstairs, you look back. There's the front of the house. There's like a retaining wall right here. This was like a little tool room. I'm not going to go inside. We go around the side of the house and this is like the back deck I guess and you can see there's like these A-frame little houses here. I built those for the dogs that we had. We had 21 dogs that lived here <laughs> all at once. Um, Here's the entryway to the downstairs. Okay, so this is the, let's see, in the back and where the refrigerator is at, you have the kitchen. Here's the dining room table. <laughs> and here is mine, my brother's bed. And this is where we grew up. Right here, this was like the living room. At some point there was like a TV right there. And uh, you can see that the walls have fallen in. So when I lived here, obviously the walls and stuff hadn't fallen in. But it was a very, very dirty, disgusting place to grow up. And here you can kind of look up. That's like the loft area. You know, the parents' bedroom would be directly overhead. 
And um, yeah, so here we go. Let's see, let's go back in the kitchen. So this is like the kitchen area. You can tell that my parents were pretty much hoarders. They Anything they could get their hands on, they put inside this house. That's a pantry area right here I'm showing you. And, um, yeah, you know, so I guess my purpose for this GoFundMe is to force gump this house. You know, it's like, I'm Jenny. I just want to see this house get torn down <laughs> and taken away and just erased. It'll be like the final straw. I just want it done. Done and destroyed. Anyway, I'll head back outside. This place is creeping me out. And, uh... Anyway, there's one last look downstairs. The back porch area. And now I'll head back up. Again, there was a little garage here, tore that down, got that moved. I obviously don't have the ability to tear down this house by hand. I don't know how long that would take me. <laughs> Too many hours I would want to spend on that, I guess. Anyway, there's one last look.